Welcome to Weight Loss and Wellness for Real, the podcast where people like you get the practical solutions and support you need to permanently lose the physical and mental weight so you can feel better and live the life you want in the body and mind you want. If you're looking to overcome your stress eating, overeating, binging behaviors, and move to a place of freedom with food and your body, you're in the right place. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you all for being here and for listening. Today is the day, the episode you've all been waiting for, semi-glutide, or in other terms, Manjaro, or Wagovi, or Ozempic, and I think there's a new one. I think it's pronounced ribesis. So I've been wanting to do an episode on this for a bit as I am having more and more clients who are taking this drug, and I'm just going to assume many of you out there are either taking it or wondering more about it or maybe considering if it's right for you. As we go into this episode and I share some things, please remember, I am not a medical doctor. So always talk to your physician about things like this. This is just me doing some research and sharing what I found. So here we go. Semi-glutide belongs to a class of medications known as glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor antagonists or glp one HAs, it mimics the GLP-1 hormone that's released in the gut in response to eating. And one of the roles of GLP-1 is to prompt the body to produce more insulin, which reduces blood sugar or glucose. And for that reason, this drug has been used originally to treat type 2 diabetes, and that's been going on for years. And in higher amounts, GLP-1 interacts with parts of the brain that suppress your appetite and signal you to feel full. Um, I have not been able to find research on this yet, but my guess is this drug is affecting the hormone leptin. So anyway, um, you know, if used, if this drug used in conjunction with diet and exercise, it can cause weight loss in people who are obese or overweight, and it is dosed by self-injections. In a study of 2,000 obese adults, after a year of using semiglutide, a third of the participants lost almost 20% of their starting weight with a specific diet and exercise program along with the drug. Since then, we now have some studies showing that these participants did regain the weight after stopping the drug. As you may know, there are quite a few side effects, including fatigue, headache, and stomach issues. And this is why the drug is started slowly, and then the dose starts to increase over time. And here are the criteria in order to get the drug as it is a prescription drug that a doctor needs to recommend. So you have to have a BMI of 27 or greater, along with at least one weight-related condition. So that would be things like... um, like high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, high cholesterol. And you're going to want to avoid the drug if you have a history of thyroid cancer, gallbladder disease, or pancreatitis. And now, as most of you probably know, this drug is being prescribed more and more often as an off-label drug, meaning more and more people can get their hands on it. And when it is prescribed off-label, insurance typically will not pay for it. And so far, the cost per month is quite high. It's anywhere from between $800 to $1,500 a month. So for anyone with obesity and who has struggled being overweight most of their lives, so far this drug really appears to be super helpful. However, there are some things one should know when considering this. So if you use one of these drugs, you're also going to need to follow a healthy lifestyle. This drug cannot counteract the effects of an unhealthy diet. So there's no getting away from a lifestyle change. Also, if you are not obese and just want to lose that 10 to 20 pounds, the research says the risk of taking the drug kind of outweighs the benefit of weight loss as the drug has not been studied in this population. And again, as mentioned above, to keep the weight off, you need to stay on the drug for good to maintain the results. Another bummer is that in a very recent study, we have seen that the weight loss achieved is a significant amount of lean body mass, meaning when losing the weight, much of it is coming from losing muscle versus fat. And obviously this is a problem, especially for any of us past our thirties, as we know, loss of muscle mass is one of the leading factors in overall morbidity, as well as loss of quality of life as we age. 
And finally, we do know these drugs do not solve emotional issues related to eating and weight. Depending on your relationship with food, you may need to focus your weight loss approach from a more comprehensive perspective to really address the physical as well as the emotional eating issues. Okay, so in my mind, the biggest issue with these types of drugs is not knowing long-term effects, uh, muscle loss, and then the weight regain after stopping the medication. And obviously, um, if you're taking it off label, the cost of the drug is super high. Okay, so I am currently working with four clients who are taking one of these drugs. Three are losing some weight. One person has had no change. This has been after, I think all of them um, that I've been working with have been on it for longer than three months. So the bottom line is this. For some people, it works great. For others, it doesn't seem to work. But for those who it works for and those who are obese and have struggled for a long time being over, very overweight, this drug really could be a saving grace to sort of get that jump start, start and make losing weight feel a little easier. It's important to remember that this drug does not automatically make the weight come off. You really do have to eat less for the weight to come off. This drug helps some people feel fuller, so they tend to eat less. But if you are an emotional eater, a binge eater, or use food to de-stress or anything like that, this drug isn't going to help with that. There was one of the... Um, there was one of the issues that one of my clients had. She was using the drug and felt less hungry, but her habit of overeating and sometimes binging in order to cope with difficult feelings didn't go away because the drug didn't take away her difficult feelings. And so she continued the binging overeating habit. So these are just considerations you really want to think about before investing in this drug, or even if you can get your insurance to cover it. You want to be clear with yourself that you will still have to work through the habit of using food to deal with emotions. And one other consideration is to really understand that if you go on this drug, please, please, please make sure you do it in conjunction with making sure you are doing the things daily to keep your muscle mass on. You do not want to end up with less and less muscle mass as you age. This leads to sarcopenia and a host of physical and medical issues. And beyond that, you need to create new food habits to be able to keep the weight off if you ever want to go off the drug. With this new drug out there, I have created an online coaching program to work with clients taking this medication, this drug. In this online coaching program, we work together to create a lifestyle and habits that will support the weight loss the drug may help achieve in order to not lose muscle mass along the way, as well as creating a healthy lifestyle that the client can maintain after stopping the drug without regaining the weight back. So the coaching program's goal is to keep the client from losing muscle mass and to create new habits that the client learns to implement into their lives so eventually they can go off the drug but keep the weight off for life. If you're considering one of these drugs, have a conversation with your medical doctor. <laughs> I hope you found this information useful. Get in touch if you have any other questions about all the coaching programs I offer. The online ones I offer are there because the cost is much lower than one-on-one -on -one coaching, although I do offer that as well. Check out my website at Heather. Heinen.com. Heinen is spelled H-E-Y-N-E-N. -E and you can get in touch from there or you can DM me on social media. I'm mostly on Instagram and my handle is Heinen Counseling and Coaching. So follow me there. Feel free to DM me or you can email me at heatherheinen at gmail.com. Thanks for listening and we will talk soon. Did you know you can find a lot more help from me on my website? Go to heatherheinen.com, Heinen is spelled H-E-Y-N-E-N, -E -N, and get in touch with questions on all things I offer, like online courses for overeating, weight loss, goal attainment, and also my coaching and counseling services. Just a reminder that this podcast represents my own opinions. The content here should not be taken as medical advice. The content here is for educational and informational purposes only. Please consult your doctor or healthcare professional for any individual medical questions you may have.